7 Foods to Avoid with an Enlarged Prostate Are you tired of having to get up night after night, several times in the night to urinate, or having to make an emergency pit stop while not having fun? If you're like the millions of men who suffer from an enlarged prostate, you know the severity of this condition. In an article written by YellowMedicine.org, the research suggests that about 50% of men between the ages of 51 and 60 have benign prostatic hyperplasia, and the numbers go higher from there. 70% of men between the ages of 60 and 69 suffer from the condition, and it affects 80% of men over 70 years of age. Deciding to ignore the problem and hoping it will go away is not the answer. But what exactly is an enlarged prostate, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia? Benign prostatic hyperplasia? Benign prostatic hyperplasia is a condition that causes the prostate gland to expand making urination difficult, and in some cases downright painful. The prostate is a small gland located underneath the bladder and sits on both sides of the urethra, the tube blind for urinating. When the prostate swells, it squeezes or puts pressure on the urethra making it hard for urine to travel from the bladder through the urethra. When the urine is backed up, it causes a host of problems, one being poor bladder control. Poor bladder control, the urgency to urinate, and weak and at times painful urination streams are the norm for men who suffer from this condition. As men age, the amount of testosterone in the bloodstream diminishes leaving them with more estrogen in the body. Well, it is this large ratio of estrogen in the body, as well as a buildup of anabolic hormones such as insulin or that, that researchers have linked to an increase in the prostate gland. We've all experienced at one point or another going to our favorite restaurant and ordering a thick shake, only to get frustrated because the shake is too thick to travel through the straw. That is exactly the difficulty the bladder has trying to empty urine through the urination tube line. The prostate gland is extremely sensitive to what you eat, how you manage stress, and how you think. Here are six common symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, frequent or urgent need to urinate. Increased frequency of urination at night, which is called nocturia. Difficulty starting urination. Weak urine stream or a stream that stops and starts. Dribbling at the end of urination. Inability to empty the bladder. Interrupted urination. Pain after ejaculation. Urinary retention or inability to urinate. If you experience these symptoms, there is great news for you. In this video, you will learn how to go on the offensive to defeat this potentially life-altering condition. We have identified seven foods you must avoid to reduce the size of your prostate. Our bodies are the most complex and fascinating machinery on the planet, and in most cases, it takes years of neglecting them, with stress and improper diets for it to break down. The great news is our bodies are living miracles, and deciding today to give it what it craves will send you on the road to healing. The key is to be disciplined and hate the foods that are an enemy to your health and healing. Here are the seven foods to avoid to shrink your prostate. Number seven will shock you. One, sugary foods researchers have shown an undeniable link between benign prostatic hyperplasia, cancer, and sugar intake. One of the problems with sugar is it destroys white blood cells and dimensions their ability several hours after consuming it to fight off diseases. To fight off an abnormality in the body, the immune system has to be functioning correctly. That means your potential of hydrogen balance has to be slightly alkaline. Sugar and its sugary cousins, please see our video entitled 48 Harmful Things Sugar Does to Your Body. Make the potential of hydrogen acidic and in an acidic environment is where the benign prostatic hyperplasia, cancers and other diseases grow. They feed on sugar and thrive in an acidic environment. Bonus tip, stay from any foods that contain high fructose corn syrup. This is a dangerously toxic substance to your body. When the body's potential of hydrogen is acidic, the body's ability to fight off diseases is severely compromised. Many sufferers of enlarged prostate are unaware that certain foods when consumed are quickly converted into blood sugar, or another name glucose. So when food that consists of starches, flour, refined sugars, and store-bought juices from concentrate are consumed, they are quickly converted into glucose in the body. At this point, the body is put in survival mode and produces more insulin, and because insulin is a well-known growth hormone, it feeds the prostate and makes it grow, exacerbating the problem. You must reduce or cut down significantly food items with starches, flour, refined sugars, etc. Some of the known culprits containing these items are cereals, bread, soda pops, store, bought juices, 
Fresh cold pressed juices are fine desserts, consuming excessive amounts of fruit with high sugar levels, and the list goes on. 2. Processed foods. The dictionary defines the word process as perform a series of mechanical or chemical operations on something to change or preserve it. That is exactly what the food industry does to many of the foods people consume. They use chemical additives in the form of preservatives to alter the food so it can last longer in the store aisles and in your cabinets. Some of the additives are fillers, food dyes, excessive sodium, flavor enhancements, and the list goes on. These unhealthy additives rob the food of its natural nutrients and cause the consumer to eat nutritionless food that in many cases are harmful agents aiding in diseases to grow in the body. Don't be fooled by them. Claims of healthy plastered on the package. Some processed foods are lunch meats, cold cuts, hot dogs, potato chips, pasta, white rice, cereals, frozen dinners or convenient type foods, bread, savory tantalizing snacks, cakes, biscuits, microwavable meals, granola bars, etc. Processed foods cause people to eat more than recommended portions of sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats. Processed foods typically are in packages such as freezing, drying, canning, and baking. Stay away from them. They are an enemy to a healthy prostate. 3. Refined vegetable oils. These oils are dangerous and an enemy to your overall health and prostate. These oils are cheap to produce, and that's why they are in a plethora of products you see at your grocery stores. An overwhelming number of these oils are GMO, genetically modified organism, and highly processed grains that are extremely inexpensive to produce. These cooking oils are some of the absolute worst things you can consume. These oils are primarily derived from soybean, rice bran, grapeseed, canola, corn, sunflower, palm, safflower, cottonseed, linseed, shortening oils, animal fat, etc. The problem with these oils is that they are everywhere and in a very high percentage of foods being sold because of how cheap they are to produce. Begin to look very closely at the back of your food packaging to identify if any of these oils are present. These oils are loaded with inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids which help cause inflammation in your prostate gland. These oils also cause the liver to weaken in its function, and hormones, like insulin and estrogen, begin to be in excess in the body which in turn facilitate growth in the prostate. Refined vegetable oils are also referred to as semi- and fully hydrogenated oils. You must avoid and cut these oils from your diet. Immediately, instead of these oils, consume pure 100% olive oil, flaxseed oil, and avocado oil. These oils are derived from a process called cold press, squeezed without heat or chemical processing, leaving the nutrients and antioxidants intact. 4. Alcohol drinking alcohol or wine might be a relaxing thing to do, but for the prostate, there is nothing relaxing about it. The prostate is a sensitive organ, and the presence of alcohol affects its ability to be relaxed, in addition to the state of irritation it causes to the bladder. Consequently, this state of irritation on the prostate due to alcohol causes the prostate to swell even larger. There are two main concerns with drinking alcohol and your prostate. 1. Alcohol dehydrates, it causes the urine in the bladder to become concentrated and can potentially irritate the bladder, causing an urge to urinate even though it's not much there. 2. Alcohol is inflammatory, it worsens the inflammation that is already affecting the prostate by raising estrogen and insulin levels. If you must have that drink, try to. Limit your consumption to two or three drinks per week, and be sure to not drink just prior to bedtime. So before we get into secret number five, hit that like button, and hit the subscribe button if you feel you've gotten value so far. 5. Meat like alcohol. Meat dehydrates the body, and even a small amount can raise the level of inflammation by increasing levels of arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is a chemical that causes benign prostatic hyperplasia symptoms to worsen due to increased inflammation. The absolute worst type of meat to eat is anything processed, such as hot dogs, cold cuts, etc. These foods are laced with highly toxic chemicals that are harmful to your prostate and could catalyze cancer. 6. Dairy Anything made with dairy needs to be eliminated from your diet immediately. Dairy not only causes the prostate to enlarge, but it has been linked to the development of prostate cancer. Milk is the product of cows and goats for their infants to grow in size and stature. It is full of growth hormones such as prolactin and IGF-1, and if you are suffering from benign prostatic hyperplasia, that spells bad news for your prostate. Cheese, yogurt, milk, whey, dry milk, cream, butter, etc. must be cut out of your diet. 
Remember, milk doesn't do your prostate good, it severely harms it. 7. Caffeine This substance is a known diuretic that stimulates the bladder, affecting the rate and frequency of urination. The problem with caffeine is it's a stimulant, and for most people, it is an addiction. If you struggle with benign prostatic hyperplasia, you should make it a point to avoid or substantially limit your exposure to products such as coffee and sodas that have caffeine. Remember, by avoiding these seven dangerous foods, you will be telling your prostate that you've decided to go on the offensive. Thanks for watching our video. And if you learned something new, please subscribe and leave a comment that you subscribe to the channel and we will try our best to reply to your comment. And be sure to hit the like button and share with a friend. Stay up to date with our newest videos, like the one to the right of your screen. And remember to enjoy the art of good health. Cheers!